So is it true that John Party's mom actually set you up with a dog? Yeah, we have a, uh, we have a, I've always wanted an English bulldog and John Party's mom uh, breeds them and, and so John flew it back, John's girlfriend Summer flew it back from California for us and it stayed at John's house for a couple days until we picked it up, but yeah. And this it's, little dog has been amazing. He's, he's part of our family, and we have the odd couple because we have the German Shepherd, June, and we have the English Bulldog, who's a little bowling ball, but they're fast friends. It's crazy how much John Party's mom comes up because she set up John Party with his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's just weird how that just happens to be another part she where John Party's everyone, mom yeah. is connected with somebody else. Absolutely. You are a songwriter first, and then you worked, then you became an artist. Sure. So, what was the hardest song for you to give away? Where you're like, oh, I really want to do this one myself. I really, it really resonates with me. But then you ended up, you uh, know, someone else picked it up. It's honestly, it's so hard to have cuts on other people's records that anytime someone wants to record your song, it's such an honor that it, you sort of kind of let them go because I can write more songs for me. I have hundreds of thousands of songs that I can pick from still that are in my catalog. So. I don't know, it's not, I think other people get more annoyed at me letting them go, like my label or my manager, when they see like what a hit song to me. What's up guys? Really? Oh, yeah. You're just gonna walk through our video. <laughs> <laughs> I, that part to me isn't, I don't know. I love writing songs for other people, so I've never been too precious with it. Yeah, so you're not like jealous. But, I, but other people kind of, other people have been like, why didn't you hang on to that one? <laughs> that was an amazing song. We could have really used that. I'm like, yeah, but I'd rather have like, you'd be mad at me than Luke Bryan or somebody, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've really been blessed to have a lot of songs on other people's records, yeah, it's, it's been a cool, like, hits. talking point for, like, my own project, too. Right. Alright, so I've been stalking your Twitter a little bit, sure. and I see that you're obsessed with Game of Thrones. Yeah, I was really into it. Okay, I'm only on season, uh, two, episode one, so, uh, so don't all give spoilers. Away. I'm jealous. <laughs> so, scene for scene, what do you think of the final episode? I'm jealous. Never, uh, ending the show is, it's like landing a plane. Nobody's ever thrilled when you do it right, but... <laughs> when you bump a little bit, it, it, uh, everybody, everybody hears complains. about it, so uh, <laughs> it was a great show. Still I'm worth probably my, I think it was, yeah, I mean, I love Seinfeld, and I love Veep, and I love Game of Thrones, and I was a huge Breaking Bad fan, and uh, it's just one of the greatest shows of all time, even if people are mad at how it ended. Really? Now, do you ever find inspiration for songs in, in shows, or is it more real life? Where do you find your most inspiration? Uh, I pulled lines from, like, TV shows that I think are really compelling, and I've tried to write those before, but I've had hard, I don't think I've ever had anything really hit like pop off of that sort of inspiration, but like, it's happened before, like the song Sure Be Cool If You Did, mm -hmm. is a movie line. Wow. And uh, I mean, I, yeah, I, I just think that like, so much like inspiration can come from just great writing in general, and, and mm -hmm. something like being timed perfectly, mm -hmm. and uh, so. Yeah, it's really nice to see the way that other people like communicate their emotional truth. I was about art. to ask that. So, like, it should be cool if you did uh, Blake Shelton, right? Yeah. Um, so, have you ever been like, you gave, you know, so there's somebody's cutting a song for you, and you're like, wow, I wouldn't have thought of that interpretation of, of how to do it. Yeah. Has anybody really shocked you with their interpretation? All the time. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that, I don't know. Breakup in the end to me was the best country song that's come out in a long time and, and on it, that came from a book like the title of the book was that Jesse Joe saw was uh, John Dies in the End <laughs> and she's like that's an, a brilliant title I really want to like see what that's about you already know the ending right and uh, I've been really into that as far as like that kind of writing where you know the whole story in the title right like my I wrote the song Michigan for the Winter kind of like that like the title is a sentence mm -hmm. and then if you just think of that like Michigan for the Winter you can already give a, you have a picture in your mind of what that story is and you're just kind of filling in the details in your, in your listener's mind um, to like make it all come together and, and so that's a really fun and inspiring way for me to write this right now. Okay, one final question. Yeah. Um, so as a morning show, our goal is to get people to say, me too, whenever we're talking about something. Um, yeah. Isn't it so cool for you, to, for people to come up to you and say, oh, I so, that so resonated with me and it, tell you their stories. It is, I put, I mean, I, I think everybody wants to have hit songs and you want to have platinum records and gold records and, and that's really, that's a great thing. But when somebody comes up and says, I use your song in my wedding, oh, like that yeah. to me is way cooler because like, we're stuck forever together at that point. You know what <laughs> we're I mean? in like, this together. Don't get divorced. You wrote a song that, like, 
affected people's actual lives. Like they listened to that song and they felt so strongly about it that they said, "No, I'm gonna, we're gonna stamp our, you know, our future together with this piece of music." And so yeah, that, that must be amazing. So yeah, that stuff is always. That's the reason that, you know, that that's what makes you keep doing it. It makes you want to write something great every day, not just something that's a hit, but something great. So I'm, you know, that that part that part makes it special. All right, Ryan Hurd, thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you, guys.